I did have rice, but I wanted to get the minute rice for the cabbage rolls. And there's some stahabi. And we got some bell peppers down there. And the rest of them are in here. So I'm going to do some stuffed peppers also with the mixture. That's why I got the big packet. So we're going to boil the cabbage, and, oh, oh yep, yeah. all right, one second, kittens. All right, well, that's just the way that it is. It's the light in there. It sucks. It's a good light, but it blinds you more down this way than it does give you light up here. I'm getting back. Got that. And then I did clean up my, uh, the drinks that we saved when we got the rest of the drinks. That was also supposed to be in the score reveal yesterday's video. I forgot. That's why I left it there so you could see it. But that case that I had gotten of that um, apple cider, there was two busted. So I saved ten. I already drank one of them. Those things are delicious. I like them. But, um, toothpicks. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. That was the other thing that I wanted to get. Yep. Toothpicks. But, I figured we would do a, the only thing that, um, the cabbage is from the dumpster, the peppers will be from the dumpster, but the, the rest of the ingredients we paid for. I was at Dollar Tree today getting the instant rice in that, because that's where we got it from, and I saw this. I was like, I want that. Let me turn it on this side, you'll see it better. I was like, ah, I want that. Hubby looked up, he was like, oh, the stay positive. I was like, yes, he was like, okay. He got it for me, yeah, I thought it was adorable. So, stay positive. I'm hoping that if I keep it in there longer, it may be one of my thumbnails. Or I can do that and have it as a thumbnail because I took a picture of it. Check out the core. Well, as long as. Might be a little bit. Right, but that'll be fine. The water's got to come to boil first. Yeah, it's got to heat up a little bit. Right. All right, we'll record again once we do something more interesting. No, it may not need to boil. Let me uh, move that though over there. We're getting the uh, burger mixture ready. Got my uh, antibacterial kitchen fresh in.
paper towels are up behind you. One more for your hair. That's all clustered here. Alright, one second. I just wanted to move it over here so they can see in the bowl. <laughs> no, you don't fry it up. It's raw that you put it in there. Oh, and then let it bake. Yes. And that's why I use tomato juice so that it soaks up the, uh... And I got ground chuck. Ground beef chuck. So you can bring that rice? Yes, please. I figured I got two just to have. I think we only need one. Right, we should only need one. Um, there, but yeah, we'll need a little bit of that in here, but mainly in the, uh, it's for in the pan. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll need a little bit in there. There's the burger. Let me grab my seasoning. Um, I'll know as soon as I start with the, after I put in the mixture. Seeing that, how much... How much is that, weight-wise? Seven ounces. Only seven ounces? It ain't even a pound? Mm -hmm. And that was three pounds? Of, we'll probably use the whole thing. Let me make sure I got all my... Which one is this hiding? My garlic powder. All right. Did you want real onions in there, or do you want minced onions in there? I don't know if there's still some of those real onions in there. I used some the other day. That one uh, flimsy bowl that we got from Dollar Tree, or Dollar General. The square plastic bowls. Alright. Yeah, that's my mac and cheese. I don't know if I used it all the other day. My Italian seasoning. And, you know, like I said, we're experimenting. We've never done this before, so... You've never made cabbage rolls before, right? Abby? So you add your season to taste. That was my Italian seasoning. Alright, you want to cut up an onion real fast? Uh huh. I know I will. There's that, and. Alright, one second, kittens. I do like that knife, but it's not um, the greatest for cutting. The steak knives actually work a lot better. Listen, stop closing this. I have a hard time opening it. I do too. Pepper. <coughs> One second, baby. So. Then my, my minced garlic. Which I use with everything, so. Thank you again. For the Amazon gift card. Cause that, oh no, I was putting it in front of the camera, but you're fine, love. Just leave it there. I'll, I have enough room to walk behind it. I know, our kitchen's small. I won't need that one because I'm putting the real onions. And they'll have to be cut up pretty finely. We don't want too big of chunks. And then, of course, last but not least, is the parsley. I did get more today, too, because I use parsley and that minced garlic and pretty much everything. Our water is about boiling. Let me turn so you can get dumpster hubby. Doing the onion. Mm -hmm. 
You humming away over here? <laughs> so literally, oh, the onions were out of the dumpster too. So the cabbage, the peppers, and the onions came from the dumpster. Everything else was paid for. The tomato juice was $1.29 per can. I got two of them. Walmart. Like we said, we were at Dollar Tree deliberately to get Minute Maid, or the Minute Rice. And that's what happened wrong with my uh, meatloaf, was I had the regular rice and not enough um, juice. So the rice actually did not cook all the way through. So that's why I wanted the Minute Rice with this. having a little difficulty there. Mm -hmm. The uh, ground chuck, I went to Walmart when I got little Tig, his uh, broke down and bought his litter box. Mama Cat won. But, um, hubby had a said if I didn't get burger when I was out diving that we'd have to buy some so I packed grabbed up the pack when I was there honestly it was 8.49 for the ground burger the normal burger and it was 9.49 or 9 something um, for the ground chuck. Yeah, I I got the ground chuck. It's a better burger. It's not so greasy. But I gotta take that into consideration when I'm cooking now, too. As I do get the better burger, so it, it has a lot less grease. So, I did not when I made the meatloaf. And I did get ground chuck when I made the meatloaf. Record again once uh, he gets that cut up some more. You don't need to watch him cutting the whole onion. Hmm? Alright, go ahead. Just to get it out of your way. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna, with the red leftover cabbage, I was just telling Dumpster Hubby, he gave me a look, but. I was telling them with the leftover cabbage. I've seen them fry the cabbage. Enough onion? Uh, yeah, that should be enough onion. I've seen them fry the cabbage. So I'm going to try that. That'll be another experimental uh, video. Alright, I'm going to get ready to mix all that together. I do have to add some tomato juice into it also. Did you... We have... We gotta check those mushrooms. I'm gonna have to fry those up. Not with... Not in that, but fry them up. Maybe I'll add that in with the cabbage when I do that. Huh? <laughs> oh, they ain't no good? Alright, well then they'll have to be gone right enough. That wasn't sealed all the way. Pause. Oh, that wasn't even... No, leave it go. Alright, I added the full box of Minute Rice. It wasn't recording. I know I hit it. I swear I hit it. I have did the full box of Minute Rice and what, roughly about a third of the t can of tomato yeah. juice? Yeah, about a third. About a third. Um, like I was saying, you do want to keep it a little bit moisture, moist so that your, the rice has something to soak up. 
Now you can hit pause. We have those tins up there that I'll be using though. We have the cabbage and they're boiling. I'm gonna get some tomato juice down on the bottom of the pan just so we have the base layer. I know a lot of people, my mom, uh, when she did it, she uh, used spaghetti sauce in that. Mm -hmm. But with the IBS in that, I figured the tomato juice is just as good as, you know, just as good as, you know, soupy and um, this way I don't have to add too much sugar or anything into it. Alright, once we get rolling, I'll uh, try to record again. No, I know. It's pretty dark. It's close. Yeah, you were really close to it. So, we did look it up. It's uh, 350 for about 40 minutes to bake. And I do remember my mom did, like I was trying to say, my mom did use spaghetti sauce. So, you can add spaghetti, spaghetti sauce into your mixture and also add it with your tomato sauce down in the bottom. I got the... Or you tomato soup. Tomato soup is whatever you desire. Right, it's whatever. That'll probably be easier if you have that on the back. Just so that once we roll them, we can sit them right in the... That's why I'll have this sitting this way so that we can... Just like that. Get some leaves out. Oh, yeah, they're, all... they're falling apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, they're definitely. Well, you're supposed to take them off layer by layer. Uh, I remember my mom doing that, anyways. Doing. I know it can be hard. The strainer. Yeah, that's what we need. That strainer. And then you'll probably want to put the uh, red bowl over in the other side. So that the leaves are close to you. There you go. All right. Grab off as many leaves, and then this way they'll continue to cook and soften. Might have to turn it back on. Yeah. Front. What'd you have it on? Huh? I had it in the middle somewhere. All right. I'll turn it on four. If that should work. Let me turn that so you can watch hubby pull out the cabbage. Uh -huh. Get a little soften, softer. Get oh, it's coming. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. There, we go. there you go. No, I've done that before, but at least I did it with a clear lid. No, you might want to put your lid back on there. Um, there's another one coming. Oh, is there another one coming? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right there it is. Turn on. <laughs> Quit fighting with me. <laughs> You're getting it heavy. There it is. I know we're fine. Alright. Any more? Do you think that's. Oh, no, there's no one coming. Alright. Don't burn yourself. That's why hubby's doing this part, because I'm too careless. I'll end up burning the heck out of myself. This is the third video that's being recorded today. Hubby's been in two of them. He did the blessing box with me earlier. And now he's helping me make the cabbage rolls. I feel blessed. But of course, it's going to be uh, the blessing box, then the goodie bag will go up, and then this one will go up the following day. So, it may be three recorded in one day, but it's three days worth of videos for us. I'm going out tonight. Hopefully I get, it's a Tuesday night, so I'm going to hit the 
upper area here. Tomorrow night I'll hit the new upper area. I see that. Nice. Just pull off how many you want to cook. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can keep going. <laughs> yeah, because the rest of it, I'm going to try to experiment with it because I don't want to lose the rest of the cabbage. No, you leave them. You just, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I remember that part. And then you get your spoon, which yeah. we'll use. Where's my new pair? Can I get my Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You can put a little more on there. Well, well, this is a big hunk. Yeah, I know, but. I, I don't like to be shorter. You like a lot in your. If you want to add more, like Hubby said, you add it to your taste. If you prefer prefer more beefier, remember, yeah. roll, no, put that down. Oh, I know, roll it in. Yep, you forgot to put the sides in. The sides come in, then you roll it. Okay. Just like that. And normally that's where you toothpick it. But we don't have any, so we're just going to put that. I'm going to find out. Be right back. Oh, oh, are you going to see if you can get yeah, some? All right, hang on, kittens. Dumpster hubby made me a cup of coffee in my Minnie Mouse cup. So, let's show you the one that he did roll while we're waiting. Looks good. Trying to get this set up so that you guys can see both the rolling and the putting it in the pan. That should be. Move that out of the way. Harvey's not a real big cabbage person. Um, he doesn't like. Uh, he he loves coleslaw and he loves uh, stuffed cabbage rolls, but he's not a cabbage person other than that. He's not real big on sauerkraut. We normally only have that once a year. Um, so I'll probably experiment with the uh, cabbage. Probably fry some up tomorrow. All right, once he's back, I'll record some more. And we're back. All right, let me get some more. I will, if, if we don't have enough to make the um, stuffed peppers, and I'll mm -hmm. ha uh, hopefully I'll find more burger tonight. Mm -hmm. And if not, then I'll cut them up and I'll freeze them like I did the other ones, and I'll use them for baking and uh, shove that in there. <laughs> and we'll uh, <laughs> and we'll uh, do it on an another time. It's not I got the minute rice so. I prefer the cabbage rolls anyways, it's been a while. It's been a while. Like since my mom made, no, I think we got them one time at a restaurant or yeah. one of, somebody, your mom, somebody made, made them. Yeah, it's been a while though. But it wasn't us that made them, this uh, is the first time that we've actually right, done it. Right, this is the first time I've ever done it. But it's been a hot minute since we've had, oh, no, the last it was the cabbage soup and your mom made yeah, it. Yeah. Beautiful job on that rolling you're doing, baby. <laughs> Looking oh, good. It works. <laughs> if we have to do two pans, we can. Right. Because we can always foil the one and have it sitting there, and I can always bake that one after we bake the one. Because oh. we're making enough so that we can freeze some and have them at a later time. No, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to eat them all. The, what's um, in there? Five already? I don't guarantee you I put a dent in it. I know you'll eat it. I'll eat a couple. I'll eat a few, probably. We'll have them for a few nights. <laughs> yeah. I won't be making anything else for a while. More on that one? No. No, this because of that. Pretty, pretty uh, 
more torn up. Worn. Worn. Oh, we might have enough. Oh, There's okay. quite a bit still left. Mm -hmm. If you need to, add some uh, tomato juice mm -hmm. and. Or we pull down another pan. Yeah, we'll have to pull the pan down. Alright. Go ahead and fill this. A little more? No. Alright. No, that one's kind of messed up too. Mm -hmm. It's how they were pulled out. Yeah, it's the way it fell apart. But that's okay. You can that's still okay. wrap them on the sides. And that's okay. And that's yeah, why, that's, that's why I say we're experimental cooks and we're not actual uh, cooks, cause. Now we put some tomato juice on that. Mm. Mm. Yep. Yep. Looks good. I'll tin foil that. Yeah. Yeah, you want to tin foil it. Just enough left in that one. I'm hoping there's just enough. Nope, I'll we'll have to grab one of the other ones. There won't be enough on this. That's okay, that piece will get put up and I'll use that for. Uh, well, this is that mess. Yep. Yep. Because they used a lot of sticky ness on it. The glue. Oh no, it's holding pretty good darn good. There we go. Oh that glue ain't holding on that. I'm thinking, I don't know if you can use it like that. Right. I have to. I'll, I'll leave it upside down. Okay. Just put stuff on it. Right. Go, just set that in there like that. You don't need that. And then this little piece can go up on the refrigerator for me. I'll use that. And we'll have to grab out the other um, cookie sheet underneath. Well, we can pull a couple more off. Because then we can just freeze it and whatever's left over and have them at a later time. Let me pull this back. Oh, you're excused. But at least you said it this time. Now that will bake for 40 minutes. Let me start the timer. <laughs> I think it was a little faster than I was. I do have another full can of tomato juice too, so if we need to. Alright, let me set this back up. Use the thicker part as the base of it. What did I do with my oh. mm -hmm. sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You make the best coffee, honey. Mm -hmm. 
It's always better when somebody else makes it. We got one left, and then we'll have to pour some more off. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't real healthy. That's okay. Oh, well, that one ain't real healthy yeah, either. No. Nope. nope. All right, hang on, let me. Huh? Is that in your way? No. Watch oh. out, stay back. If you need to pull out the whole, we can always drain it. Drain it right into the strainer. do it the crazy way. Why didn't you grab the fork then? Grab one of the forks and stab it with the fork. And then use the spoon to sit it underneath it and pick it up. Love. Here. Stab it with the fork. I got it. I'm ready. No, leave it there. I'm coming. I'm going to drain this on the water. Alright. Let me get you set back up over here now. Do it backwards. Well, yeah, and give it a couple minutes to cool down. That baby's gonna be hot. Yeah. Look, Dumpster Hubby's cooking. Dumpster Hubby's an awesome cook. I was so happy that when I told him that I wanted to record it, he was like, yeah. I was like, sweet, we get to do a husband and wife cooking video. That's something that he enjoys doing. He enjoys cooking. He enjoys doing the blessing boxes. That's where Dumpster Hubby shines. He's amazing. While well, that and delivering the pizzas, because, you know, he rocks at that, too. a few more and then like I said whatever mixture is left we will uh, refrigerate and if I can use some of it to do stuff for cabbage rolls I will or if there's only a little bit maybe I'll do some pepper soup no I know there ain't gonna be a lot left Give you enough to do probably four or six. The peppers ain't that big, so. That's the plan. That's the last one. That's the last one? Mm -hmm. How many do you got in your. Is it filled? Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, kittens, we're gonna clean up, and once the. Um, hubby's adding more. We'll tinfoil that one, and once the other one's done in 40 minutes, we'll put that one in, pull the other one out, and I'll show you the end product. Dumpster kids! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pull the cabbage rolls out and check them. The timer just went off. No, I don't think they're going to be done, but... I 
I don't think so though. I think we're gonna put them back in for another 15 minutes. Maybe about another 15 minutes. Huh? What do you think? Come here. The burger doesn't look like it's... Yeah, I'd say about another... So a total of uh, about 55 minutes. Maybe an hour. Well, that's done for about another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes? So about 50 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. That's almost. Right, almost. Cover that back up. Alright, we're going to put it in for another 10 minutes, so a total of 50 minutes. Jumps to catch. Back. Take the foil off, and then I'm going to put them back in for a couple more minutes, just to give them a little more color. I, I should have taken the uh, foil off when I put them in, but I didn't, so I'm going to put them in for a couple more minutes, just without the foil. Alright, let's pull this one out. Looks good. There we go. Put this one in. Set the timer. Let me at least give you guys something good to look at. This over onto the stove. Throw this up off the side. Hey Johnny, wait up. Johnny. Every customer gets one. Just see us take a few bites of it and see how it really is. Alright. Turn this out and see how well we did. Well, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to lay down for my nap so I can be ready to go dumpster diving. How is it? Tastes like cabbage rolls. Mm -hmm. Good seed. 
Yeah, it could have used a little more seasoning. Well, that's good. And I had wanted to grab a can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes to add in it, and I forgot to. But that's really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. I hope you like this cooking video with Dumpster Hubby. We had an awesome chef with us tonight. No, and another experimental cook tonight. And it's amazing. Mm. nice and moist the rice is cooked all the way through that's going to be amazing tomorrow when I heat it back up I may get some uh, tomato sauce just to add in with it and when I heat it back up tomorrow I'll add some more seasoning in with it But thanks for watching kittens if you like this experimental cooking video, let us know with the dumpster hubby in it tonight. Click that like button down below. And if you're at all new to the channel and you do like what you're seeing, consider subscribing and becoming one of our newest dumpster kittens. Thanks for watching, kittens. I hope you're having a blessed morning, noon, night, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you're having. I hope you're having a blessed one. Love you, kittens. Thank you for watching. If you liked our scores tonight, let us know. Hit that like button down below. If you're new and you like what you see, consider joining our litter and become a dumpster kitten. We love you, kittens. Have a great day.